Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm Brianna and today is the best day of my life because I am here with you guys. So if you're interested in seeing this relaxed hair update, then just keep on watching. got my relaxer um sometime last week i'll put the date on the screen and in the description box but i just got my fresh relaxer of course i used motions products and um everything went perfectly like i definitely got the great results that i wanted and all of that i also filmed a video of my wash day routine post relaxer day so basically when i'm rinsing the relaxer out i show you what the next steps are after that so I'll leave that video up in the cards for you guys to watch and you guys can see like all the details, the products, the process, all of that. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you watch that video. Um, I also made a video showing you guys how I relax my hair, how I actually apply the relaxer onto my hair and self relax at home. So make sure that you guys definitely tune into that one as well. It'll be in the description box and in the cards. So yes guys um of course i use motions products again um and i believe i used regular or mild i kind of bounced between the two regular and mild but i use one of those of course um processing time is around like 16 minutes or so rinse it out everything was good um as you guys know for, well first of all my stretch this time was pretty smooth sailing the only issues i had was when i did wash day with um these particular products i'll put that video up in the cards as well and my hair tangled really really bad and i thought i would have a big huge setback but i actually didn't and um i did get a trim and my mom trimmed my hair and i probably trimmed off about um about an inch but I also feel like this time guys I feel like my hair kind of grew uneven this side is the thicker side and then this side is the longer side so I believe this side is the side that's a little tad bit longer and I am waist length and I know a lot of people in my last picture that I posted on Instagram of my hair everybody's like oh you are already waist length but I, I mean the I really wasn't honestly because I feel like the peak because my hair kind of goes in a V shape as of right now or a U if you want to call it but I feel like the peak of my hair was um kind of at my waist but the rest of my hair wasn't so now um the rest of my hair has kind of filled in and as you all know the back of my hair is actually longer than the front of my hair and back in the day it's funny how the rows have switched because now the back is longer than the front and now the front is shorter than the back so you know all of that these layers are literally taking their sweet precious time growing in I honestly miss when my hair was all one length and my front was just growing in so so good um like I said guys I did let my mom trim the back of my hair which it is still uneven my mom is like not a professional cutter which is fine um I'm gonna probably do something fun to correct that so be on the lookout for that video but I definitely I'm just gonna leave it like that because this side is a tad bit longer than this side I'm gonna leave it but I will insert um, in this video a clip of me trimming my front my layers so as you guys can see like I just kind of bring it to the front and I brush it and I kind of just trim um, along the bottom. That is not like my last trim. I am going to trim it again. But like I said, my hair is kind of uneven right now. So I I'm going to trim after it grows out a little bit more. For the most part, trim my, trimmed about an inch off, got the split ends off, and I also trimmed up the front. And I don't necessarily like my layers because they are kind of see-through and I understand why because like I said they are layers but I don't like that look and I think this time I'm gonna more so concentrate 
on the front areas of my hair although I'm gonna of course keep up with the health of the rest of my hair but I really want to concentrate and focus in on the front of my hair so that the layers can really really grow out and match the back of my hair in its thickness all the way from root to tip and hopefully you know I can definitely achieve that. Waist length hair was definitely a goal of mine but I guess now my next goal is to get this front caught up and of course I want to grow it longer now. I have still of course been protective styling with my wigs but I feel like the difference is I've been doing plaits up under my wigs instead of doing cornrows which are basically scalp braids and I find that the um, scalp braids are a little bit more difficult when it comes to taking them out and detangling especially now that my hair is a little bit longer I feel like plaits are easier for me to detangle easier for me to manage and easier for me to take down more frequently and really deep condition treat my hair you know whatever I'm doing at the time it's just easier to get to my hair that way I can say all in all I am very happy with my results I'm very happy with my hair and where it is now so yeah guys um I'm I really really like the results my hair is really textured I love this look it just looks really good like I'm definitely excited with the health and the way that my hair is looking and um you know I'm just happy to see where it goes from here so guys I also want to say just make sure that you turn on your notifications and that you're subscribed because I don't know if you guys guys have been seeing my videos but they haven't been performing too well um so I just want to make sure that you guys know that you know there is uploads make sure you guys catch up Make sure you guys tune in and watch. Give it a big thumbs up if you do like the video. And make sure you do interact and comment. And let me know, guys, what you all want to see. Um, another change that I'm thinking about doing is because I had the issue with the products that I used in my last wash day video, I'm considering taking away the wash day videos, guys. And let me know how you feel about this. Let me know if you think that I should continue to do wash day videos or not. Um, I think moving forward, if I do decide to do a wash day video, it's going to be on products that I use and that I know work good for my hair. I don't necessarily think I want to try any new products or anything that could be like detrimental to my hair journey and my hair growth because that could have really gone bad, um, me trying to detangle my hair and not only did the shampoo tangle my hair but the conditioner that came with it did not aid in detangling and then I used the TGIN moisture um RX deep conditioner and that did not help like with the tangles either so it just was a hot mess and I just don't know if it's worth my hair journey to do wash day or even use different products that I've never used before because those videos don't even do well anymore. Like, I don't know why, guys, but um, I don't know. It seems like people haven't really been watching. Like, even my relaxed hair content, people really haven't been, like, feeling it, haven't been watching it. I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong, but let me know if you guys um, like wash day videos and if you like them and what format do you want to see them? What do you think um, people are missing or just all that jazz? What do you care about? What do you want to see? I know you all had a lot of questions also about why my hair tangled. Um, so basically Essence came over my house for a Q&A beforehand and she actually took like a video of my hair from behind and on that day I'll insert that clip because I couldn't like believe that my hair actually looked like that because of course you can't see your hair from the back but um, I looked at that video and my hair was totally detangled that day and that was before I washed my hair. So going into wash day my hair was fully detangled so of course I knew right off bat that the tangles came from the shampoo. This has happened to me before also using Care Care line. Um, I used like two different 
uh, shampoos and conditioner combinations from their line and both of them tangled my hair so I no longer use that product. So I'm actually right now doing research trying to figure out why this happened, what are some common things or common ingredients that these products have that's making my hair tangle and what should I look out for on the ingredients list to not get next time when I'm looking or shopping for different shampoos and conditioners. Um, but like I said I may not even do that anymore i just may stick with my holy grail products and use what works for me that new stuff that i know works and just kind of completely cut out the wash day videos and like i said i don't even think you guys are filling those anyways so if i do do a wash day video it's going to be on products that i know won't tangle my hair so on to the link check so basically guys i took these comparison pictures and I didn't want to post them on social media because your girl gained like 10 pounds 10 quarantine pounds and you can definitely see it on the pictures but you guys are special to me so you get the exclusive and here is the picture so basically um hopefully you guys can tell um, I tried to take it similar to how I took my first photos, but I think I'm just going to have to get like a link check shirt to kind of give you guys a better visual of the growth. But basically, um, my hair has definitely grown. I think it, pro I probably retained around four inches this stretch. So I guess my hair probably growed around five inches this stretch, five, four and a half or something like that. So I think I retained about three and a half to maybe three and a half inches. Yeah, I think that's more safe to say. I think I retained three and a half inches. As you guys can see, the back has evened out a little bit and the sides have grown in. Even the front of my hair, the um, layers have grown in on the sides. It's actually covering like my shoulder blade now and it's definitely grown a lot. So I'm super excited. And I also took two different pictures because one of the pictures, it was was like bone straight and the other I just kind of bumped the ends because the first picture my ends were bumped so I just wanted to kind of show you guys um you know like the same I kind of wanted to give you guys like a similar aspect and then also show you it when it was straight so um like one side of my hair was actually past waist, waist length but like I said like it's uneven so um I'm definitely going to be I insert the clip of me trimming my layers but I also want to do a separate video um going more in depth showing you guys um how to how you can try to trim your hair at home um my hair is pretty long so it's kind of getting hard for me to do that now but I think I can do it and I'm gonna just show you guys like what I can do really good and how to get like a really in-depth trim session at home without going to a professional because I know it can be hard to find someone that you trust to trim your hair. So I know a few of you have asked me like is there anything that I can use on my hair while it's straight that won't weigh my hair down but can add like a shine to it and there is. I've been using this for a while probably since hair school and this is the Proclaim Professionals Care Glossing Polish. It eliminates frizz and it adds shine and it does not um like way down your hair and it says natural oils help prevent dryness so um this is what it looks like so yes guys i literally just put a little bit of this into my hands just kind of rub it together and put it on my ends and um and I'll put it on the length of my hair as well, but it's very a lightweight formula and it feels like silk, guys. So I've never tried anything like this. It's so good. It's so amazing. Um, and I guess it could compare to like some skinny serums or whatever, but I love this one and you only have to use a little bit. So this big bottle goes a long way and it'll last you a long time. So yeah, guys, like um, definitely give this a try if you all are looking for something like that so yes guys i hope you all enjoy this relaxer update and um make sure you guys tune in to all the previous videos that i've um showed you guys remember to comment like subscribe 
chat with me down in the comment section if you guys have any questions about this relaxer update then just leave those questions down below and i'll definitely try to answer them for you guys i love you all so so much remember do what you love and love what you do and i'll see you guys in the next video bye mm -hmm.